Hey everyone, this is Neon Polygons, and uh, I, I just came back from Salute to Smallville in the Hilton, Parsippany, New Jersey. And I, I want to make this quick video because I was completely blown away by what I just experienced. And I'm not talking about the convention as a whole. Um, I'm talking about one specific panel that I feel is not only was not only the best panel at the at the Salute to Smallville convention, but probably one of the best panels I think I've ever witnessed, heard, came across at any Comic Con nerd fandom convention that I've ever been to, uh, and I'm I'm not just talking you know, the small ball, you know, mid-market Comic-Cons. I'm talking even better than things that I've seen at the big boys, like a New York Comic-Con or a San Diego Comic-Con. Um, and I feel like so uh, upset because I, I didn't think I would want to, you know, see this panel later, so I didn't choose to film it. But the panel with John Glover, uh, who played Lionel Luther on Smallville, uh, was far and above, far and above, probably one of the best panels I think I've ever witnessed. Uh, and I say that not as a fanboy, but literally as someone looking at this from almost like an outside point of view. And just to kind of give you some context, you know, I, I attend a lot of conventions in which Smallville is, you know, probably a huge part of, uh, you know, normally it's because, you know, the, the big three, it's usually uh, Michael, Tom and Kristen are usually there. Uh, and every now and then, you know, I'll come across a panel uh, like, you know, some of these, you know, the, the cast it will be like a, a much fuller cast panel that will also involve uh, Erica and uh, Laura Vandervoot and um, sometimes John Glover. Uh, and, and I have to say, you know, normally when you do, when you see the full cast panels, you know, let's, let's be real here. Most people are, are usually attending those panels because they want to see the big three, or in some cases you can consider it the fourth because of uh, Erica um, who played uh, Lois Lane in, in the later years of Smallville. And, and usually when you have kind of like the, you know, the, the other side characters, even though they played major roles, um, like John Glover or Laura Vandervoot, they'll, they'll tend to get shadowed. Uh, and, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I just, you know, it's just the nature of like these panels. Most people are there because they want to see Tom and, and Michael and Kristen. And so, you know, a lot of the questions, a lot of the, I guess, attention is really, you know, straight away from from John, Laura, and, you know, um, uh, Erica in, in some regards. And, you know, part of that is also because, too, it's like the, you know, the other personalities of the other actors, uh, you know, they're a little bit more, as I could say, a little bit more explosive or a little bit more attention-grabbing than, than in the ways that John or Erica could probably do, um, you know what you know that they'll probably do in a panel so they again they they just tend to get overlooked um and you know even today at salute to smallville they opened it with a panel from john glover and and i was probably guessing that they probably did that um you know i don't think intentionally or anything of of, of you know anything wrong with it but you know john is not really like the big draw when, when you talk about Smallville, he, again, he, he was only there for, you know, he was a primary character, but not, you know, not the bread and butter of Smallville, right? He, he's not the main reason that you come watch Smallville. He's not the main reason that, you know, you would probably come to a convention for, for the majority of Smallville fans. And um, I, I have to say his panel was, was everything. I, I think that panel alone was worth the price of admission to just going to salute to smallville and i it, it almost ups, it, it it almost upsets me because now i i've seen a lot of smallville panels you know if you looked at my channel i've I filmed quite a few and i posted them i've seen quite a few of them and in retrospect now 
uh, knowing that John was part of a few of those, it, it makes me very sad and, and upset that like, wow, I can't believe we really missed out on a lot of the commentary from John Glover. Um, this panel, uh, I think, is probably... <laughs> I shit you guys not. It is probably the best panel I think I've ever saw uh, out of any comic con, and I'll, I'll I'll tell the reasons why. Um, but I I just want to kind of talk about how it felt to be in that room watching John speak, uh, because there are so much emotions ranging from joy and laughter and and you know an incredible. You know, his, his sense of humor, in my opinion, outshines everyone on the cast. Like, everything on, everyone on the cast and anything I've seen uh, from any of the Smallville panels. No, again, disrespect to Michael or Tom, but John Solo uh, was a tour de, for, tour de force on that stage. And it, it, it was everything, from the sense of humor to some very poignant moments to some very reflective moments. Um, I, it, it was simply amazing. And um, I, I, I wish I had filmed it, but for those of those, for the, everyone who was in that room that saw this panel, I think if you look at it collectively as a whole and you kind of put away, put aside the Smallville you know, kind of fandom, because obviously a lot of people are going to say, what's the best panel that you saw today? And of course, they're going to say, oh, it was probably Tom and 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 um, Michael at the end kind of doing it and uh, Randy doing a Talkville panel. But if you if you put aside kind of like the bias of like, oh, why did you come for Smallville? At the end of the day, the John Glover panel was above and beyond like the best panel of the day. Uh, and again, all the panels I thought were, you know, were really good, but the John Glover panel was, even if you weren't a Smallville fan, even if you didn't even like any of those things of, like, conventions, the John Glover panel was something that, like, everyone would enjoy. Even if you had even no idea what Smallville was, right? His panel was absolutely spectacular. Um, first and foremost, right off the bat, uh, this was a unmoderated panel. It's basically John going off the chain, just tolling his thoughts uh, per every question. So people would ask questions, and normally what people would, you know, when it comes to these, you know, qu question and answer type panels, usually they just respond to uh, the question. You know, they'll give a little bit of, like, you know, commentary into it. John's, his panel differed because it was more like, 30 separate monologues uh, and of, of various tones, whether it be like a sense of humor to, you know, a reflection of life to commentary in, in terms of like a professional aspect. Uh, it, I, I've never had such witness something of the breakdown of the human spirit than that of what John Glover just did. Um, some of the details, and it's it's really hard for me to kind of like explain the sense of like emotion that people were feeling in this room. And the reason a lot of people weren't seeing it was because it was the first panel. Uh, a lot of people right off the bat were trying to go get autographs from Tom, Michael, and, and Kristen and the rest of the cast. So a lot of the room was, was unfortunately not filled. Um, now, people who were kind of the VIP gold members, uh, they... Because I guess like, you know, everyone here was trying to kind of figure out how does this all work with like their seats. The majority of uh, gold and VIP members kind of filled the room and, you know, they had we, we primarily had most of like the front row seats. But after that, most of the, the rest of the audience or the panel uh, room was really trying to go get autographs from Tom and and Michael and the rest of the cast. Um, and so a lot of people kind of. Uh, started off the questions, you know, to, you know, kind of kick things off. And then John basically did it almost as like a TED Talk slash stand-up comedy. It, it was, it's, you know, he didn't sit down during the entire thing. He walked around, he, he moved. Um, and he, when someone would ask a question, the very first question, 
he said, stop, I, I don't, uh, I, I want to know your name. Let's, let's, let's talk. And he did it in a very humorous way that kind of set the tone that this was going to be a, almost like talking to a friend, talking to, you know, a close friend. Is, is the best way I can kind of describe these panels. And I get it. A lot of people, a lot of you who are probably Smallville fans, you'll probably say like, well, that's like a lot of the Smallville, Smallville panels. Like it feels like you're talking to like some old friends from, you know, because you watched them over the past 20 years. No, this was different. This really felt like you were talking to like a real friend, someone that you actually knew, not that you're talking to someone that you've been a fan of or talking to someone that was, uh, you know, you you felt like you grew up with. No, this felt like a real discussion with a friend. And, you know, when you think about it, when you talk with your friends, you don't really have a close friend. You don't really have like an agenda, right? There isn't kind of like this set thing that you're going to talk about. It just feels like you're going to talk about one thing and it's just going to deviate in like crazy directions, right? Random sporadic directions. And that's what this panel was like. It just, it, it, it just went off in like different <laughs> different tangents and I felt with this panel what made it so beautiful was John John really poured his heart out there and um, you know one of the things that he kind of said out there is like one of the initial things is that you know he just turned 80 uh, and you know he was talking about you know his career the things that he's done but he understands that like look a lot of the people that know him are basically they know him because of Smallville right and you know it's it's a character that um, is you know how people define them and he's accepting of that he understands that and he's not uh, upset about that you know a lot of actors and I'm sure some people on the cast you know the, you know they're not always thrilled by it because they probably you know were typecasted but John, uh, John Glover was uh, as best as as I can say it, he was incredibly appreciative during the time he did it and uh after you know he did it because he understands that basically uh it it cemented his place in people's hearts whether you know being just an actor that goes from one role to the next he understood right from the get-go that role cemented him in people's memories and he was incredibly appreciative of that and how he communicated that was just so beautiful that i my description of it doesn't do it any justice and in a weird way he kind of you know mentioned that like look he's still acting he's still he's still in the game he's still doing it uh but there was a hints of innuendo you know being at his age uh and you know the limitations of what's possible you know he, he more or less he did allude to that like look it's it's in the twilight potentially of his career and um, I just thought that admission of it or that innuendo of that admission of it was, was just so beautiful, but yet so comforting. And it, it's such a hard thing to kind of grasp, right? And as an actor, you know, he kind of knew, you know, he, he kind of said it straight up, like, I'm an actor and what I do is I like to tell stories. Uh, and what I felt would, felt very different from this panel, from the rest of the other Smallville panels, to any other panel that I've seen it wasn't that he was just telling stories for the sake of telling stories or telling stories as, as a form of entertainment. It felt like a story, he was telling stories that almost like you'd want to pass on to other people, right? Like that's how convincing this narrative, that's how, how in-depth it was. And um, in, in some ways I felt uh, even myself, like, I don't get emotional when I watch these, you know, when I watch the Smallville panels. Like, it's not like, oh, man, like, I, I leave and, like, like my heart is all filled. No, like, this panel was probably the first one uh, that it's it's ever, I've ever felt like that. And then I turned to the guy next to me, and I basically said, that has to be one of the best panels I've ever seen. Um, one of the things that, you know, John also discussed was basically, you know, he... He, he mentioned how he got the role and he was, you know, very straightforward. He's like, look, man, like I got this role as a job. I did. It, it was a job. OK, uh, like, let's not put two things. I didn't try to go after this thing. It's like they someone dropped out and, you know, he got the role and, you know, that's it. You know, I wanted to work. And 
it was it was just just hilarious it was hilarious but at the same time like I loved it because he was keeping it real with the audience. You know, a lot of the audience expects that, oh, John, you know, go tell us something like deep about like what, you know, why did you go after this role? What, you know, what di- direction were you trying to give? And, you know, he was very honest. And I thought that was like one of the best things about it because it gave people almost in a way like a reality check about like what Smallville and, the, you know, the creation of it was. You know, a lot of us like to think that there's, the sense of lore that the actors were initially gunning for. But at the time, you know, like, look, you know, it's a role. As an actor, that's what you do. And he wanted the role, and it was, a, you know, network television, and it's like you can't ask for anything better. Um, and I, 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 there was a sense of honesty in, in John's tone and the way he delivered it that it just felt, like, great to hear. It just felt like this is so cool, right? Uh, and... It, Again, it, it didn't feel like it, it was a, a response that's being meant to be given to, like, a Smallville fandom. It felt like a response that's like, look, I'm going to tell you the, the reality and the truth, but it's actually going to feel better than telling you some something that you may not believe, or, sorry, something that you, you know, I, I'm going to say this for the sake of just making, appeasing you because you're a Smallville fan. It, it, did, it did not feel like that. It felt even better than that. Um, and, you know... There would be at times like little kids that would show up. And, you know, a lot of times when you have an actor, you know, like little kids kind of do the panel, like ask a question. It's usually like an ah moment. And John was just fantastic. A little kid would come up, ask a question, and he knew how to treat the, obviously the kid and not make the question look like it's a kid moment. But he knew how to kind of turn these moments into like something that like everyone would find funny but not insulting because it's a kid uh and he knew how to make uh in a way uh everyone appreciate that that moment in that you know in that audience everyone would appreciate almost everyone asking a question right a lot of times you hear questions and you're kind of like ah man i may have heard this again or blah 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 like continue on like you know some may be boring to you. And in a way, every question that was asked by, to John, um, you know, some of them, I think in the hands of other actors, they would sound like kind of van- like vanilla questions. But toward John, he made them seem like almost like mini events. Um, and again, he would deviate like drastically a lot of times uh, from these questions, but you never felt like it was him ignoring it. it. He would always circle right back and try to figure out and answer it. He was very, um, you know, admittingly, you know, like he admitted, like, like I, I forget a lot of things at my age. And, you know, one of the funniest things was that uh, during a panel, like he would try to uh, say like, oh, you know, I, I had to do that thing that you, um, you know, when you first uh, make a show and people are like the pilot <laughs> or, you know, he's like, I would have to read this thing. Um, the What do you call it? The And then people are like, you mean the script? Uh, and it was just really funny just to kind of hear John kind of, you know, go out and about and, and talk about these things. And I think one of the other, you know, key moments that I thought was just like fantastic was when, um, you know, a guy just asked a really almost in a way a non uh, like a pointless question. Right. That's how it felt like, you know, he, he basically started off the question saying like, look, man, I don't have social media. I, I don't really check social media. So I don't really know what you do, John. I don't really know your life, but I want to know about you. How did you meet your, your spouse? How did you, how, how did you meet him? Right. And for a lot of other Smallville questions or panels, that would be kind of like, dude, why are you asking that? that that's like, there's no point in that. Right. And John was like taken back, not just taken back by the question, but when he answered it, and he answered it, you know, saying how he met his 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 partner, his his spouse, and you know he kind of discussed and in, in really comical ways uh, how you know he he kind of met his spouse uh, while walking his dog, and then you know he was asked out to dinner like the next day, and then he brought like a group over, and he barely talked, but his husband was or his future husband was very. Um, uh, how do I best put this? He, he was great at speaking with people. And, um, he, you know, he brought up a moment where he got really sick and that, like, you know, it was now or never to, to meet, uh, to marry his, his partner. And it was such an emotional moment and so beautiful, right? 
But what really upped the ante was the, the guy who asked the question basically just said, like, I, I just think that's a very wonderful question, or sorry, wonderful answer. And I, uh, you know, I, I, I want to hear because, you know, I, I, you know, how I met my spouse, right? And he kind of just in a quick, like, 30 seconds just talked about how he met his spouse. And he always, he was interested in how John met his. And um, it, you know, he ended his question by saying, I, I just kind of want to shake your hand. And John said, come here, come here, let me, let me shake your hand. And, you know, John is, was not afraid to get, you know, up close and, and shake hands and hug people who were asking these questions that, again, it felt like so, such a beautiful moment, right? And, um, you know, prior to this guy asking the question, John had hugged a few people in the audience. John had hugged someone that wasn't even asking the question, just she was just sitting in the front row and said, hey, you know, turn around, look at the, you know, look at the screen, show everyone, look at this guy, look at her smile, doesn't it like a beautiful smile? And and John uh, shaking hands with this man and giving him a hug. Uh, and it was just a, you know, random dude, random straight dude asking, asking this question. And um, I, I, I wish you guys could see this moment because it felt so honest and innocent and sincere, but yet like uh, also hilarious and beautiful and serious and reflective. It was like so many things wrapped up that I've never seen this realism uh, in any panel I've ever ever watched at a Comic Con, and I, I'm still blown away by how amazing this this one hour with John Glover was. And, you know, he, he spoke again about being an actor. He spoke about being a gay man and, and doing, uh, doing acting. And what I felt, you know, normally when people try to, you know, again, not, not giving any context, but, you know, giving reality here, sometimes when people kind of mention orientation or race or, you know, bring these things into panels, sometimes it can be, unfortunately, polarizing, right? Uh, but the way how John spoke about it, I felt there was no one in the room. There was no way anyone in that room could be upset, right? Uh, because he didn't feel like he was forcing anything upon anyone. He didn't feel like, uh, you know, he was telling the truth about, you know, what it's like to be a gay actor and, you know, doing non-gay roles and, you know, in his position. Uh, and it, it, it was just a wonderful moment like wonderful moment how he kind of communicated it. it nothing that john did could ever feel polarizing i think he could have honestly got up there and and said some evil things and it would have felt like uh comforting in a weird way i i, I wish i could describe and i don't want to like say anything more that can get me in some deep trouble here but there were so many things that john spoke about that had so much depth to it and yet so so um accessible and so real and so passionate and so humbling I, and i think that's one of the things too is that you know i again i've been to a lot of the smallville panels now um but one of the things that i think you know we all will you know admit is that we idolize all the the cast members of of smallville we we idolize them and and you know, the Smallville cast is, is obviously incredibly appreciative of, it, of, of, you know, the support that we still give them even long after the show has, has finished. Uh, but John, I think there was a sense of humility there and a sense of a deeper level of, grad, uh, of gratitude that I've never really, um, has never really been expressed in the same way by the rest of the cast. And as a fan of Smallville and as a fan of just, you know, nerdum, uh, you know, the geek uh, niches of, of fandom that we all have, John, I think, was the first time I've ever watched one of these panels and it made me feel, uh, like, proud and feel... Um, um, thankful right back like a real thankful right because you know a lot of times we'll always tell the actors thank for, thank you for all you've done and it's like guys they they were doing a job they were doing a job to you know that 
you know, I'm sure they all know now it's bigger than them. But, but at the time, it was a job for them, right? Um, and for John, I, I felt like if you said it in that panel, you felt truly the love right back. Um, I, I, I'm not knocking any of the other panels. I'm not, I'm not downing on any of them because I all thought they were fantastic. But there was a human, there was a spirit, like a human spirit that I've never felt as um, expressed or displayed as that of what I saw in the John Glover panel. And everything, like I said, the emotions, talking about the, you know, the, the politics and, and the, you know, the, the, the background in terms of the production of the making of Smallville and, and just being in the entertainment business in general and just, you know, the dissection of a man is the best way for me to kind of describe this panel. It, it literally felt like this was a, almost like a movie that we were watching, but in real life. And we went through, in my opinion, watching this panel, we went from watching almost someone be born on the stage and live on the stage and will die on that stage, right? Uh, And I don't mean that, that last part in the negative, meaning that in the sense that he gave his life really for the art. And there is something so incredibly moving with that panel um, that, you know, again, John Glover was not the biggest reason I came to watch the Smallville panel. I never really paid much attention to him, to be honest with you. Uh, But after that panel, wow. Wow. Uh, I I almost wish he got more uh, spotlight in some of the shared panels that he's had with the rest of the cast because... I think a lot of people have missed out on on his insight and his perspective on life. And it, there was, in this rinky-dinky you know, conference ballroom in the middle of New Jersey, this, this actor, this, this man, gave, in my opinion, without realizing it, the performance of a lifetime. And a lot of people who weren't there, like they, you know, were people watching this video on YouTube, like you won't understand. And I hope someone recorded this panel. Uh, I hope the, you know, the camera work that Creation Entertainment was doing, I hope they recorded this panel. Uh, Because this is, in my opinion, it's not the panel that everyone's going to want to watch. Because again, it's, he wasn't the main, you know, the main reason you watch small mill but this is the panel that i think sells why people would be a fan of smallville why people would want to go to a convention why people would want to go to a convention just about smallville why people would want to go to you know you know comic-con or geekdom conventions in general um yeah uh i ju- i just had to do this video because it this was one of the greatest panels I, I have ever seen. And um, I, I just need some someone else to know that. And I just, I'm hoping um, people take my word for it and, and understand what just went down in that panel room was one of the greatest panels, one of the best panels uh, I have ever witnessed. And I think if any, anyone, you know, who's like me, who goes to a lot of panels, I'm sure they would say, the exact same thing that was one of the most defining experiences I have ever felt I felt my own life (laughs) knowing that Smallville was 20 years ago I felt even in that room as John was speaking I felt that I felt 20 years of my life again uh, in that time span I felt like I lived a life (laughs) all over again in that room and it made me want to leave that panel room and almost call up old friends and call up family. And like, again, I'm I'm looking at this from the lens of not just like bias. I'm here for Smallville, and I'm you know I'm here to see, you know Tom, Michael, and Chris. I I, I literally I, I I came to that panel, you know, just 
thinking that this was, you know, a good way for filler just to sit down before, like, the other guys start showing up. And after that, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't look at the other panels the same way because it was such a great panel by John Glover. Um, anyways, I'll have more commentary on it, but I, I just had to, like, share my thoughts on this one because it's, I'm, I still can't stop thinking about it. Um, so, anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all hearing me rant for 30 minutes. Um, let me know any questions in the comments below. Uh, but thank you for hearing me out. And uh, talk to you all soon.